Hello and welcome to another Spaztech tutorial. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the World Coordinate System, uh, or WCS for short, and, uh, and a little bit about the 3D manipulator. Um, in uh, 3D space, and that's what we uh, usually uh, uh, use Blender for, is uh, to uh, create 3D objects, uh, we have something called the World Coordinate System. And that, that, that is basically a system to, uh, um, I guess, uh, map out where things are located in space. And the coordinate system has uh, three axes. You have the X, Y, and Z axis. And, and uh, down here in the lower left corner, you can see that this is my, this is my world coordinate system. Um, and, uh, and for every, uh, any point in space has uh, three numbers associated with it. We'll have a, an X coordinate, a, a Y, an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, and a Z coordinate. Uh, and we also have rotation, uh, so rotation around each one of those, and uh, that will uh, basically define uh, where an object is in space. Now, for any given object, we have a 3D manipulator on that object that, that allows us to uh, view and control uh, its transform or its, its position, rotation, uh, in the 3D space, and so that's what this is here. You, sh you can show this is the, uh, or you can see this is the 3D manipulator on my on my letter T here. I have my uh, T sub uh, selected, and here's my Z axis, my Y axis, and my X axis. And like I showed in, in some other videos, I can uh, uh, select these and and move it around. And uh, I'm just going to hit Command Z to change that back to where it was. And uh, just to check it real quick. Okay. Yep. There we go. Uh, now, so now that that's out of the way, uh, I, I've noticed when uh, I was selecting this, my uh, my 3D manipulator isn't in the center of this T uh, where I'd like to have it. And uh, we can move that around in a couple different ways. Uh, first of all, we can uh, with the object selected, uh, I can go down here, the object transform. And uh, there's uh, four four things that are going to change that. So I can uh, change the geometry to the origin, and the origin is what the what there uh, is where the 3D manipulator is located. Uh, so if I hit that, you can see my T moves down to uh, the uh, the origin or the to where the 3D manipulator is lo uh, located. But I don't like that, so I'm gonna hit uh, Command Z to can uh, go back. And uh, so the other options, I'll just do these so you can see what they do. Uh, origin to geometry, okay. So that sounds close to what I want to do. Uh, so it places, it changes the position of the 3D manipulator to the, uh, the to the that letter T, and that's that's pretty close to what I want to do. But uh, let's let's go back, uh, and uh, and then I'll uh, show you what the other things do. Uh, the next one is uh, origin to 3D cursor. You can see my 3D cursor is out here, so I can place that 3D cursor wherever I want, and uh, and then I can cr I can move the uh, origin to that 3D cursor, and so it doesn't move the T; it just moves the the origin. Um, so there might be various reasons you want to do that, but that's not what we want to do here. So again, I'm going to hit Command Z to to go back. Uh, what I really want to do is I want to uh, send it to the center of mass, so origin to center of mass, and uh, that that puts the uh, 3D manipulator right in the center of my object, and that's kind of what I want for for what I'm doing here. Uh, so that's about it. Um, so we talked about the world coordinate system just real briefly. Um, everything has a position in space. Um, it'll have a uh, x coordinate, a y coordinate, a z coordinate, and also have a rotation for each one of those. Oh, uh, one more thing before we go. Down here, you can turn this on and off. And let me rotate around here a little bit so you can see what, what's going on. And uh, and you can right now I'm in select mode, so I can trans uh, I can move that around like you've seen. Click this, and then I can rotate it. I, I can grab one of these these arcs, and I can rotate the object. Or I click this, and I can grab these boxes and scale it. And uh, I, I talked about uh, uh, rotation and scaling and everything in another video. You can go watch that to find other ways to do that. Uh, that's about it. And uh, thanks a lot. Talk ne again next time.